Hello everybody, welcome back youtube.com slash geek aloud. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. We're going to do a let's upgrade. We are going to upgrade the PS4 Pro in here to an SSD hard drive. This is very exciting. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, basically the key thing you want to know first is you want an SSD drive that is SATA 3 interface enabled uh, and the read-write speeds. The PS4 only allows up to 300s. So as long as your SSD that you drive has 300 or higher megabytes per second read-write, you'll be fine. You'll get the full advantage that the PS4 can leverage out of the drive. So there it is. That's a solid state drive and it'll be maybe a tenth of the actual physical size there internally. They're very small. I think a USB thumbstick size. Uh, but anyway, the very first thing we have to do, whoa, before we upgrade is the very first thing you want to check. A game you're currently playing, like we just kicked off The Witcher, Witcher 3 recently, make sure you've got those saves backed up. Uh, you can see here I didn't for The Witcher 3, so we will upload all. Uh, the alternative you could do here is to save off all your save uh, games to a USB stick or an external hard drive. Uh, I'm pretty lazy. I'll just upload them on PlayStation Plus. Obviously, if you're not a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you don't have this option. Uh, but if you are and you do, for me, it's just easier to upload it to the cloud. Let them worry about it. And we'll pull that save game back in after we've upgraded the internal hard drive. Uh, but here we go. So this is about to be done. Once this is done... All right, I've got everything I need there. So now uh, what we need to have ready for the hard drive to install is a USB copy of the current firmware. Uh, so if we go to the PlayStation site, you can see here, obviously get it off the official PlayStation site. I saw a couple of other websites listed it and they're like, hey, download it here. Never do that. Never for anything. Go to the source. So go to PlayStation's website. You want to click on the PlayStation 4 there. This is a key bit of information you need. You want an external drive, you want the PS4 folder. Inside that you want an update folder and inside that you want this file that's downloading. So, we will move this. So we need a new folder in here to be called PS4. And then within that folder, we want another new folder. This time it's called update. And then within that folder is where we want to paste this one. So we want this file here that just downloaded into there. Now, once this finishes copying in, we will have the USB thumbstick ready to go to go into the PlayStation 4. Once the new hard drive's in, through the maintenance menu, we'll install the operating system off the disk and we'll be good to go. The next step in this process is to power it off completely. You want to go to power options and you want to turn off PS4. Do not put it in rest mode. Turn it off entirely. So over here, we've got the thumbstick we just created. We've got the new hard drive we'll be putting in. And the other thing that we need is a one of those tiny screwdriver sets, which we have right here. Lecky tape, very handy. What I like to do is, as I pull things out of one side, you grab the two cables and you just whack just one run of tape around them. This way you don't forget any cables later on when you come back to it. A little bit of tape there around it. Now with the PS4 Pro, what we're looking for is this slot here on the back. That just clicks off with a horrible sound like that. Then we need to find the screw bit for that one there. Possibly this one. Pull that one screw straight out. I like to leave it somewhere where it won't roll away, so that lid's pretty good for that. So this is the old, uh, you can see it's a platter hard drive there. 
what we'll be doing is taking those four screws out, pull the hard drive out, we'll slot the new one in. Uh, you can see the tops line up the same, so that one will replace that one, we'll slide it back in, plug it in, we'll be good to go. Once again, throw them in the lid. You can see one's got the little sort of neck on it and the other doesn't. So the one with the neck of the four we'll use to put the uh, new hard drive back in when we get there. Uh, and the other tip I'll give you is to keep hold of the old hard drive just in case you have missed a uh, save game or something. Don't immediately go to put the hard drive in another device. It's best to hold on to it. Uh, so we put it back in there. It's obviously a lot lighter. Uh, and then we just need to align the holes there with the case. We need to do all four before we can slide it back in. So once that sort of bottom side one's in, you want to go diagonally opposite to this top side. You don't have to tighten it all the way straight up. And your next one, screw them in. Then the fourth one should be all lined up and you can see it is beautifully. So when that goes there, now that we know all four screws are in and it's tight, we can just go around and give them all. You don't want to go too tight. You don't want to start uh, stripping thread, but can't hurt to just go back, give them all a nice little tighten. Then we slip him back in the way he was. Put this screw back in. Put the cover back on. Use the line on the line there. So now, before we flip it back over, well, we can still see all the connectors here. We can take our cluster here that we all knew were for the back. Untape that. And that's why I only want to do one lap of tape. You don't want to fight with it for too long. And then you can just plug it all back in. Make sure you don't accidentally bump the power button as you're rolling back over. And I always like to plug the power in last. So there's less chance of uh, accidentally powering your device on before you're ready. Turn him back over. Gently, gently. Try not to bang it into stuff like I just did. The, uh, this is the USB stick that we added the firmware to. So we've physically switched out the hard drives. You've just seen that. Now what we need to do is turn on the PlayStation 4 into the maintenance mode. So that's a push and hold of the power button for about seven seconds. You'll hear the double beep. Let's do that now. The screen will hopefully come up and we'll be able to uh, get on with installing the operating system of the PlayStation 4 onto the SSD drive that we've just upgraded to. Here we go, pushing and holding the power button. There, power button. Second beep, seven seconds in. All right, there we go. Yes. Fingers crossed, this time it works. Could it? Will it? Should it? Yes. Yes, indeed we do. Initializing. Uh, now I'm going to stop the recording for this bit. You don't need to see it. All right, and now the all important install, you guys know how this goes, of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It's, here we go, The Witcher 3 Game of the Year. It'll be interesting to see how this install goes. We actually have a let's install this very title from a few days ago on a normal drive. So let's see how this installs on the solid state hard drive. All right, guys, once the uh, downloads happened again, so it's on the new uh, hard drive you just installed, you need to remember to 
hit uh, the options button on your controller, or I always want to call it start, uh, and then download those save games that we uploaded to the PlayStation Plus Cloud before we change out the hard drives. All right, guys, so that's it. Let's upgrade the standard PS4 Pro hard drive uh, to an SSD hard drive. The update's complete. We finished installing The Witcher again. We already downloaded our cloud saves. So let's launch it and hopefully now, if we hit continue, this the other two packs should be there. And look at that load time. That's a fast load. I love it. There it is, guys. SSD hard drive. Check out the streams upcoming. Witcher 3 playthrough, inspired, of course, by the um, Netflix show, The Witcher. Uh, I preferred the narrative in this video game than I did on the TV. I mean, it was fine, but I prefer this one, which is why we're playing through it again. Thank you for joining me. Tune in for the future streams. Hopefully, you'll notice the sped up load times. Enjoy your faster gaming with a solid state hard drive. Thanks, guys.